So you've had your computer for a while, and slowly but surely, your hard drive is slowing down. A solid-state drive or SSD is a great alternative to a traditional hard drive, and they're surprisingly easy to install. This step-by-step -step guide shows you how easy it is to migrate your data and install your new SSD. The only tool you need is a screwdriver. First, figure out how big of an SSD you need. Look at the space currently being used in the Properties section of your C drive. Make sure you get an SSD that's big enough. A 240 to 256 gigabyte drive is adequate for most users. Users working with large photo or video files or games may want to opt for a larger drive. Next, make sure all your software is up to date and you're running Windows XP or newer. And last but certainly not least, back up all your important files, including photos, videos, and documents on a flash drive or external drive. Let's talk about data migration really quick. You'll need to purchase a USB to SATA 3 adapter. Sounds complex, but it's just an inexpensive cable that looks like this. Many manufacturers like Samsung provide migration software with their product. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to install the software. Select your source disk and your target disk and hit start. The cloning process will start and you'll be notified when it's completed. Shut down your computer once the process is complete and then we can move on to replacing your drive. To get started, unplug your computer and remove the battery to completely discharge the computer. Use your squeak off the drive cover. There's usually only movable panes. Check your user's manual if you're not sure. Remove the drive according to your computer's user manual. If your drive is held by a bracket, remove it and reinstall it on your new SSD. Now put the SSD back into the computer. Replace the screws and reinsert the battery and replace the cover. All you'd be on your new SSD when you start it up. There you go. Switching out your SSD may seem complicated, but in a few simple steps, you'll be up and running again faster and more reliably than ever.